right. Your music was the epitome of this Y2K time period that we're exploring during this season. What are you hoping to see throughout the show? Oh my gosh, you know, all those references to the 90s, of course, are just, I mean, it's such the thing right now, which is sad. Well, it's not sad, it's nice. But living through the 90s, there was no way I thought that 90s would be cool Lance again. Lance is a huge 90s hater. I'm not, I am not now. Even though it was... But I was during the 90s. I'm like, this is like, what is it? These clothes are horrible. Everything was just like not pretty at all. I think it's all, it's all coming back now. 90s are it. So get used to it, baby. <laughs> I mean, I'm good with that. It's like, fine, whatever. I mean, that means maybe your music? Exactly. We have to have put some NSYNC and Backstreet Boys in there, right? Uh, well, I mean, since Jessie produces this, I hope she's using NSYNC stuff and not Backstreet stuff, all right? Oh, Jess, that would be Could you imagine if she, like, she couldn't get Justin to approve the songs? Yeah. <laughs> Just couldn't get them approved. Well, like, uh, sorry. Speaking of which, are you here to support Jessica tonight? Yes, we are. We love Jessica. You know, she's basically my sister-in-law because, you know, my de facto brothers. Uh, but she's uh, amazing. We met, actually, when I did Seventh Heaven. And so we were, you know, very close back in the day. And then when her and Justin met, it was so great. I was like, yay, I love that they found each other. How often, if any, does the band get back together as a whole group? As a whole, it's very rare. Um, you know, birthday parties for sure, um, but it's been quite a while at this point. We'll, you know, three of us together, four of us together, but five is is pretty hard. Yeah, uh, but you all talk like every day. We do. I was gonna say, is there an active group chat? Oh yeah. yeah, we talk weekly. I mean, for years. You know. What is the name of this group chat? You know, it's so funny you ask that because I was interviewing uh, Joey McIntyre today for Frosted Tips, my podcast, and you know, and every time the show starts, I'm like, okay. Go to your group text, text, and, and whoever like see who the first person will you know text back. And I was like, do you have a group name? He goes, no, it just says New Kids. I'm like, yes, yeah, ours doesn't even have a group name. It's so dumb. You don't even have a group no. name. It's just their names. We gotta uh, fix that. No, plans. what should our group name be? Bye bye bye. So every time they get too active, you're just like, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Mm. Did you see the TikTok that went viral the other day when somebody thought Jessica was just Justin's new girlfriend? Oh my God, yes, exactly. Yeah, your girl looks just like Jessica Biel. Uh, I mean, it's great. I, I love moments like that. Uh, and I know Justin's been having a lot of fun with it <laughs> last week. I love that, too. What I will also say is you guys have two little babies at home. What is it like to watch shows like this, to see the trauma that teenagers can really go through? Does that make you fearful for your kids growing up? Yeah. I mean, we're definitely fearful of every aspect of lives of with these life. kids. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, I don't even want them to leave the house. Like, don't get in the car, just stay here, you're fine. Until you're 18, just stay in the house. Um, but, you know, you have to be exposed to the real world. And, uh, you know, I, I'm glad that they do get to see shows like this. Um, one, because they get to kind of peek into how we, you know, how we were kids. Um, and it's funny, they've never even heard any of our songs. I know, we don't play any NSYNC songs. I've in the not house, played apparently. any NSYNC songs from them yet, which is very What? Weird. I know. It's weird. Because I think, like, especially Bye 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 would be they would love great it. for kids. Yeah. But We're I don't doing know very why. bad parenting. Yeah. I, know. I know what you guys are doing tomorrow. <laughs> Literally tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's going to be NSYNC day. But <laughs> so speaking of the real world, so let's talk about the real world for a second. The Dodgers just had crazy circumstance where they decided to yank the invite from a drag nun group and then re-invite them after all the backlash. Do you think it's a little too late to do that after the backlash? And where do you stand on the uh, situation? Uh, first off, I love the sisters. Uh, they are amazing. Um, you know, it's never too late to apologize and do the right thing. So I applaud that they did. Um, do I think that they, you know, should have done it at the very beginning? Of course. And Dodgers have yeah. always been so supportive of the LGBT. We have great LGBT night every year. Um, so I think someone made a very rash decision that went very south. But they fixed it pretty quickly, and I applaud that. We love that. What will Hart and Rockos be doing for Pride this year? Oh, my gosh. We have tons of stuff. I mean, they just sent me the programming, and... Every hour, there's something crazy fun happening. So we'll be there all weekend, kind of popping back and forth. And then uh, my favorite thing, of course, is the parade. So we'll be watching it there at heart. I always have like this little table right on the uh, on the street, and uh, and we just get. To, I always like to judge the floats. I'm a big. I don't know why I love a parade, but I love judging all the floats that go by. <laughs> I love that. So everyone go to Heart and Rocco's and hang out with Lance and Michael. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great idea.